Do you remember the 1996 MTV Video Music Awards because they were a hot mess? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just like my previous videos, I've been going back and covering the most messy and chaotic award shows and the 1996 VMAs are no exception. Let's start with the pre-show because a lot happened. We get an interview with Alanis Morissette. She is being nominated for the Best New Artist Award even though she performed You Ought to Know at the awards last year. I don't, I don't really think I'm a new artist. <laughs> Um, but I guess technically I am. I don't know how that worked out. It's giving Dua Lipa being nominated for the Best New Artist Award at the Grammys in 2019, even though she had been releasing music since 2015. We then get an interview with Tracy Bonham, who is also nominated for the Best New Artist Award for her song, Mother, Mother. Mama, Mama. Chris Rock tries to block the camera. Chris Rock's trying to bust our moves. Just trying to steal myself. Allison asks Tracy which song from her album is going to get a music video next. The one. The one. Right. When can we see that? It's on now. I haven't seen it yet. We'll go see it afterwards. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good luck tonight. Have fun. Oof. Ellison is giving G a gun on Zoom with Charlie XCX. Song that you would want to see me perform of yours, what would it be? I think it has to be Room Room. Everybody would go insane. Oh my God. What is it called? Room Room. Okay, I'm looking that one up. The winners of last year's Best New Artist Award, Hootie and the Blowfish, are then asked about their chances of winning another award tonight. Four different guys united by one true belief that you're gonna lose tonight. Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. definitely. We get a pre-show performance by Beck doing Where It's At on top of a choose or lose bus because 1996 was an election year. A reminder that I've created a Spotify and Apple Music playlist featuring all of the songs that were either nominated or featured within this year's awards. Links are in the bio, go take a listen. Tabitha Soren interviews the Smashing Pumpkins who had a dramatic year. They were writing the success of their album Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, but while they were on tour, their tour keyboardist John Jonathan Malvoin schmoverdosed on something that I cannot say on YouTube. Their drummer, Jimmy Chamberlain, was then kicked out of the Smashing Pumpkins after he was arrested for possession of the shrug at the scene of Malvoin's death. The band talks about threatening to kick him out of the band over the years if he continued to use, but he found really good ways to hide it, so this event was kind of unavoidable. You gotta understand, he was hiding it so well that you were never quite sure. And when you when you believe that someone's telling you the truth and you say, okay, now you're gonna tell me the truth, right? Oh yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Is everything fine? Everything's totally fine. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go ask their mom? The fact of the matter is, is you're a human being, you have responsibilities not only to yourself but to others. No doubt, then do a performance of Spiderwebs on the marquee. While we get an interview with Bush, the Fugees arrive on the red carpet with an entourage of people wearing camo. A complete platoon coming in behind me and uh, you guys mentioned it earlier, I feel like we're in Apocalypse Now or something. Back to you, Kurt. John asks him about their upcoming performance at the show, which includes a guest performance by Nas, but this seems to be news to Lauren, who looks super confused. Oh, I don't know, is he? No. I don't know, I don't think he is. I, I, maybe I got it wrong, then. <laughs> I guess John made a mistake. We then get an interview with Carol Radzeville and Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Tabitha asks this. There have been a lot of rumors that you guys aren't as sober as you used to be. Do you guys want to address that? Tabitha is really good at her job. She is super fearless asking all of these super uncomfortable questions. It's like you say, it's rumors. It's a, it's a load of mal malarkey and... Um... Uh, I don't believe that the people out there even believe it for a second. Chris Connolly then reacts to Steven Tyler's answer by saying this. I gotta tell you, malarkey and stuff are now my two favorite euphemisms from 1996. We then get an interview with Dr. Dre who talks about his take on the growing animosity between the East Coast and West Coast schools of rap. They discuss how Suge Knight came for Puffy at the 1995 Source Awards, making fun of him for always wanting to be in the videos of the songs that he produces. Any artists out there want to be an artist, I want to stay a star. I don't want to. I don't have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record. Come to death row. Back in 1994, Tupac was shot, but even though it was not done by an East Coast affiliate, Tupac accused Puffy and Biggie of being involved. Suge Knight bailed Tupac out of jail in 1994 and signed him to death row records, and then a big feud between Tupac and Biggie started. Tupac was threatening Biggie's life in his music, even saying that he was sleeping with Faith Evans. Dr. Dre bowed out of the rivalry by leaving death row and starting his own label, releasing his album, The 
Aftermath next month in October. We get another performance by No Doubt on the marquee. This time they do a performance of Just a Girl. Because MTV is airing this performance, we miss Mariah Carey arriving on the red carpet. This is a tragedy. More than Just a Girl made her entrance mere seconds ago. Mariah Carey arrived, I guess. That means we can start now. We get a pre-taped interview with Oasis. Just like typical British people, they are mumbling mumblers. Why are you They ask MTV why they have been subtitled in the past and they answered their own question by the amount of mumbling. Considering that MTV is tossing back to Tabitha, this can mean only one thing. An interview with Mariah Carey. For those that have seen my other VMA videos, Tabitha is the only person to interview Mariah, and it is not because they have a good relationship. You know, I've been put through hell for the last couple of months over this interview, and you're not gonna f me over now. Every time I deal with you, it is a nightmare. I've always gotten the vibe that Mariah cannot stand Tabitha. Looks a little rickety, but I'm putting my life in your hands. Okay. Okay. You'll be fine. Um, what was that big size for? But here Mariah continues to be very professional and even compliments Tabitha's outfit. I like the skirt. Well, thank, thank you here. very much. A little Vera Wang for yeah. you. Oh, Vera Wang. I'm wearing Vera Wang as well. Very nice. Yes, we love Vera. Out of the other Tabitha Mariah interviews, this is definitely the most tame, but by the end of the interview, you can feel the tension. Mariah talks about starting a new label, and instead of Tabitha asking her some questions about it, she decides to end the interview. And that was incredible to be able to get him. All right, my label. So I'm psyched about that and well, we look forward to hearing a lot more yeah. about that definitely and mm -hmm. who you're going to sign. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. by. Well, we're going to check in with Allison Stewart on the Radio City Balcony. Allison? I could be reading into this, but I feel like Mariah feels a bit jaded. During the commercial break, we get to see an ad from the Choose or Lose campaign starring Iggy Pop and Kate Moss. Interesting to use someone in this ad that cannot vote. We then get to the main show. The Smashing Pumpkins open it up with a performance of Tonight Tonight, accompanied by a live orchestra and unaccompanied by Jimmy Chamberlain. Our host for tonight's awards, Dennis Miller, then comes out to the stage. He must have been a big hit with the MTV producers, considering that this is his second second year in a row hosting. He says this. Guitarist Keith Richards became a grandfather when his son had a baby girl, and then former bassist Bill Wyman married her. And uh... This is referencing the fact that Bill Wyman dated a 13-year-old. All right, hammer me, because he married a 13-year-old. All right. He then talks about the presidential candidates. Candidates are now really sucking up to everyone. Dole was promising a 15% tax cut. President Clinton says he will raise the minimum wage to $200 an hour for hookers now. And he then provides his opinion on the O.J. Simpson trial. O.J. did it. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hear the booze. This is crazy because in retrospect, I think we can all agree that he did it. But back in the 90s, this case was so entrenched in the political and social commentary of the time that basically thinking whether he was innocent or guilty kind of reflects your views on society. Mariah Carey then comes out to the stage and says this. Okay, I gotta make this quick because Dennis Rodman's waiting backstage for this dress. She then presents the award for Best Group Video. The nominees are Bone Thugs and Harmony, The Crossroads, Foo Fighters, Big Me, The Fugees, Killing Me Softly, and Hootie and the Blowfish, Only Wanna Be With You. The Foo Fighters win. Kevin Bacon and Rosie O'Donnell then come out to the stage to present the award for Best New Artist in a Video. I'll let Kevin and Rose read and sing out the nominees. Alanis Morrison. It's like rain! Garbage! Stupid girl! Uh huh! Jewel! Who will save your soul when it comes to a bandage? Tracy Bonham. A freezing from Stormy's from Sweden to death! Have a big fight! Alanis Morissette wins and she denounces the concept of awards. Somehow wish that, uh, Shows like this could be less about competition and more about um, the acknowledgement and acceptance and celebration of our artistic differences. So maybe someday it will. Yeah. 
her wish never came true. Right before heading into the commercial break, the announcer says this. Nas joins Fuji for a special performance. I thought Lawrence said that he wasn't performing. Who is lying, guys? Maybe. No. I don't know, I don't think he is. Fuji's perform with Nas. Coming back from the commercial break, we get a performance by the Fugees. The performance starts out with Wyclef Jean playing an electric guitar and then proceeds to destroy it. However, you cannot hear the guitar getting smashed. Yeah, yeah. Miss. They perform Killing Me Softly, Fujila, Ready or Not, and If I Ruled the World, Imagine That, featuring Nas. What? Wait, so Lauren was acting during the pre-show? No, is he? No. I don't know, I don't think he is. Wow, she really had me fooled. Well, sort of, kind of, because Wyclef Jean says this right before she could lie to us. Bringing Nas out. Refugee style. Oh, I don't know, is he? No. I don't know, I don't think he is. Claudia Schiffer, Anthony Kiedis, and Flea then come out to the stage in the most energetic oh. way. Well... At least Claudia tried. Lazy! Anthony must have been eating some jumping beans. They present the award for best dance video, but first we get to see a dance of their own. We get a striptease performance by Claudia and Flea. Claudia fakes the act for a couple seconds, but Flea keeps on going. I don't think Flea was wearing any underwear, so MTV pans away just in case they are about to show something inappropriate. Anthony then seizes the opportunity to try and pull Flea's pants down, but Flea is able to escape. The nominees for best dance video are Coolio, 1, 2, three, four, something new, everything but my girl, missing, La Bouche, Be My Lover, and George Michael, Fast Love. Before revealing the winner, Claudia and Anthony go back and forth about shocking the world. Let's shock the world! Okay. Do it, do it, do it. No, you do it. No, I won't do it, anyway. Coolio wins. They was dancing, wasn't they? <laughs> Dennis Miller then makes this joke. Christ, I just killed my shoulder backstage. I tripped over fleas. I uh, can assure you that's not how he got the nickname. You know, our next two presenters. Tony Braxton and Dennis Rodman then come out to the stage to present the award for breakthrough video. It feels like MTV cuts Tony off halfway through her line because usually every setup ends with here are the nominees, but instead we get this. The videos nominated for the breakthrough award are the coolest of cool. The nominees are Bjork, It's So So Quiet, Busta Rhymes, Woo Ha, Got You All In Check, Boo Fighters, Big Me, Garbage, Queer, Radiohead, Just, and The Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight Tonight. Before revealing the winner, Tony says this to Dennis. Dennis, I have a question. Where's the dress? Where's my dress? Where's the dress? It's in the boa. On my boa? Yeah, where is it? I'm on my honeymoon right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm treating myself real well. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. You wanna do that on there? Should I? Go right ahead. I have the dress on. Can I do it? Go right ahead. Okay. This feels a little bit at his expense rather than joking with him. Yes, Dennis Rodman wore dresses and boas in 1996. This was taboo, but he's obviously super confident about it. So even if you try to make a joke about it, you can't get a reaction from him. The Smashing Pumpkins win. Dennis Miller then makes this joke. You get the feeling that uh, Dennis Rodman is a sexual Epcot center, don't you? We then get a performance by Metallica doing Until It Sleeps. We then get a parody of Bob Dole played by Norm MacDonald. I learned something very important about the youth of America. I don't like you. Beck and Chris Rock then come out to the stage. Chris talks about the Macarena. Uh, everybody's talking about this uh, Macarena thing. This Macarena, I'm an electric slide man myself. For those that do not know, the song was released in 1993, but then in 1995, the Bayside Boys released a remix that had English lyrics, and by 1996, it had become a worldwide phenomenon. Chris then says this. Good night, how you doing? Don't kill me. All right, yeah. <laughs> For those that know about the allegation that is going to pop up in 1997, then you know, but in 2015, Suge Knight purposefully ran over someone in a parking lot and was sentenced to 28 years in prison. Chris Rock was in his mastermind era. See, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but, you know, I'm so creative like that. 
They then present the award for best R&B video. The nominees are Tony Braxton, You're Making Me High, Mariah Carey and Boys to Men, One Sweet Day, D'Angelo, Brown Sugar, and the Fugees, Killing Me Softly. The Fugees win, and while walking up to the stage, Wyclef Jean is holding the Haitian flag. For those that do not know, Wyclef Jean and Pras are both Haitian Americans. Michael Buffer, a wrestling announcer, then introduces LL Cool J performing Doing It. He enters onto the stage on a motorbike that looks a little rickety. LaShawn then comes out to the stage, and they both do some very suggestive dance moves. I felt very prudish watching this. It feels like dogs and heat at some points. It's getting weird. Gina Davis, dressed up in Miley Cyrus Bangers era cosplay, then comes out to the stage. She presents the award for best direction in a video. The nominees are Bjork, It's Oh So Quiet, Foo Fighters, Big Me, Alanis Morissette, Ironic, and The Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight Tonight. The Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight Tonight wins. At the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum, Neil Young performs The Needle and The Damage Done to promote the issues around Schmerowin Schmovidoses that were becoming more and more prevalent during the 90s. Dennis Miller then interviews two cosmonauts live via satellite from the Mir space station, and it is a mess. Welcome to MTV, how you doing? All right. Yes, you've got the moon man in your hand. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> this is why our countries didn't get along for so long. Uh. Live TV with people in space with a language barrier. What could go wrong? Now, how long you been up there, boys? The interpreter sounds more Russian than them. I can't even break through them. All right, uh, it should take a uh, moment here and say that these guys have actually been doing this. Put that card down for a second, please, in front of the process. They've been up there laying the groundwork. Jenny McCarthy and Damon Wayans and come out to the stage. They both make a bet to see who can make the crowd scream louder. Yo, New York, what's the quantine? How y'all ready? Y'all ready to make some noise? My turn. Are you guys? Welcome to the life of... Well done, Mama. They then present the award for Best Rap Video. The nominees are Tupac featuring Dr. Dre and Roger Troutman, California Love, Bone Thugs and Harmony, The Crossroads, Coolio featuring LV, Gangsta's Paradise, and LL Cool J doing it. Before revealing the winner, Jenny and Damon slap each other's dairy ears. It's getting weird. Coolio wins and he takes a page out of Alanis Morissette's book. All those was the best videos of the year. We should all got an award tonight. We then get a performance by Hootie and the Blowfish performing Sad Caper. During the commercial break, we get the trailer for the first Wives Club. Tupac and Snoop Dogg then come out to the stage to present the award for best hard rock video. This was actually Tupac's final public appearance before being fatally killed in a drive-by shooting. The nominees are Alison Chains, again, Marilyn Manson, Sweet Dreams, Metallica, Until It Sleeps, and Rage Against the Machine, Bulls on Parade. Metallica wins. Sealed then comes out to the stage to introduce Alanis Morissette, doing a performance of Your House. We then get a parody of Bill Clinton, played by Daryl Hammond. I'll tell you something. Alanis, you can stick one hand in my pocket anytime. Beavis and Butthead then come out to the stage to promote their movie Beavis and Butthead Take America. We then get a performance by Bush doing Machine Head. Tim Robinson comes out to the stage to present the award for best alternative video. In the spirit of the crass and the promotional, I'd like to say that Dead Man Walking is still in the store. The soundtrack is fantastic. Buy it. Want it? Yeah. The nominees are Bush, Glycerine, but I say Glycerin, Everclear, Santa Monica, Foo Fighters, Big Me, and The Smashing Pumpkins, 1979. The Smashing Pumpkins win. I just wanted to um, 
Thanks, Filter, for giving us their drummer. Janine Garofalo then comes out to the stage to introduce the Cranberries performing Salvation. Steven Tyler and Joe Perry then come out to the stage to present the award for viewers Choice. The nominees are Bone Thugs and Harmony, The Crossroads, Bush, Glycerine, Coolio featuring LV, Gangsta's Paradise, Metallica, Until It Sleeps, Alanis Morissette, Ironic, and the Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight, Tonight. Bush wins. During the commercial break, we get an ad for a free telephone psychic reading. It looks like you guys found the right people. <laughs> for one, someone found the right people. For your free sample reading, call now. Okay. Ewan McGregor and Ewan Bremer then do a pre-recorded clip to introduce the next performers, but mainly to plug their new movie, Train Spotting. We're, we're here because we're in the film Train Spotting also, but we're here to introduce, and Ewan here played Spud in the film Train Spotting. Miss incoming, miss incoming. We get a performance by Oasis doing Champagne Supernova. Liam Gallagher starts off the performance by saying to the crowd, I hope you're having a good time, but I know you're having a sh time. Oh, you have a great time, and you know you're having a he was allegedly inebriated. He also changes one of the lyrics from a champagne supernova in the sky to this. The footage is too bad to see properly, but Liam then proceeds to spill his beer on stage while smoking a cigarette. At the end of the performance, he drops his microphone on the floor and walks off the stage. The crowd did not like this performance one bit, so they boo. Dennis Miller then reacts to the performance by saying this. Wow, he spilled a beer. The original members of Van Halen come out to the stage and get a standing ovation because this is the first time that they have been on stage together in over a decade. Let's just say that during this, David Lee Roth was as Nicki Minaj would say, messy like soccer. David hugs Eddie, which you can tell he just was not into. As Michael Anthony was about to read from the teleprompter, David cuts him off. Michael? Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Have you noticed how things have changed a lot since the last time we were up? They sense of what he said, but this is what he said. No, really. It used to be, I want my MTV. In November 2019, a disease called COVID will be discovered in Wuhan, China. No, really. It used to be, I want my MTV. Here, I'll blow your head off, man. <laughs> Eddie then has to drag David away from the podium, but then he starts thrusting his hips. They then present the award for best male video. The nominees are Brian Adams, The Only Thing That Looks Good On Me Is You, Beck, Where It's At, Coolio, One, Two, Three, Four, Something New, R. Kelly, Featuring Donald Eiley, Down Low, Nobody Has To Know, and Seal, Don't Cry. Before revealing the winner, David starts filibustering. The winner is, ladies and gentlemen, a big blast of noisy screaming nonstop summiter plummet New York City style applause for bu 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 Dennis Miller then makes this joke about Sammy Hagar being fired as the lead vocalist of Van Halen. Ooh, stand tall. Don't you fall, don't go doing something foolish now, all you're feeling right now is silly human pride. Descendant or not to our good friend Sammy Hager. Ladies and gentlemen. Susan Sarandon then comes out to the stage to present the award for best female video. The nominees are Bjork, It's Oh So Quiet, Tracy Chapman, Give Me One Reason, Jewel, Who Will Save Your Soul, and Alanis Morissette, Ironic. Change the name from Ironic to Iconic because ugh. Alanis Marset wins. Dennis Miller then introduces Bone Thugs and Harmony by saying this. Performers put the harm back in harmony. Here's Bone Thugs and Harmony. They then perform at the crossroads. The song is dedicated to Easy E, who died a year earlier. During the performance, a white horse draws a hearse onto the stage. As a lamb, I really notice the similarities between The Crossroads and Breakdown by Mariah Carey that features Crazy Bone and Wishbone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Jay Leno in Kiss Makeup then promotes the upcoming performance by Kiss, but it ends in an awkward silence. <laughs> Sharon Stone then comes out to the stage and pulls a Ramona singer. The last award. Thank God. Thank God. She then presents the award for video of the year. The nominees are Bone Thugs and Harmony, The Crossroads, Foo Fighters, Big Me, Alanis Morissette, Ironic, and The Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight, Tonight. 
the Smashing Pumpkins win. A big, big night for the Smashing Pumpkins. Under the Brooklyn Bridge, specifically the Fulton Ferry Landing, we then get a performance by Kiss doing Rock and Roll All Night. At the end of the performance, cutting back into the venue, there is someone that runs across the stage, but I'm not completely sure who they are. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Dennis then closes out the show by holding a sprinkler. We then get to the post show. We get an interview with Bjork who refuses to admit that she used the body double in her music video. Really? Yeah. You didn't really do those backflips in the video though. I'm not saying. <laughs> not often people do backflips in such a short breath. Um, I'm not saying. At the end of the interview while tossing to Allison, she stops Bjork from leaving. Don't go away just yet. I'm surrounded by- We get an interview with Van Halen. Kurt asks him whether they are truly reuniting and David says this. We've already finished several songs and they are sensational. This, and it's in, no, in a sense that what you always expect is that it won't add up. Usually when somebody reconvenes an act like this, a band like this, it doesn't add up. Age takes its toll. Not at all. Not in this case at all. <laughs> in actuality, a few weeks after this, David Lee Roth was once again out of Van Halen. David released a statement saying that he was misled by the rest of the members of the band into thinking that they were actually reuniting and that he even said that he would only be going to the VMAs if they were reuniting. The rest of the members of Van Halen then released a statement saying, eh, we didn't do any of that. We get an interview with the Smashing Pumpkins. Kurt asks them this. But does this sort of thing mean something to you? I mean, do you take do you take it seriously, or is it just a nice thing, or? That's a hard question. This statement pretty much answers the question. Like, it would be so easy to be like, yeah, this really means a lot to us, but instead they were like, no. And then halfway through their interview, Kurt interrupts him to move on. Uh, we're going, we're going dub, dance, house, techno. Rock, rock, okay. rock music got, and stuff <laughs> past thing. Okay, we gotta wrap up. We're going down wow. to John. John Norris is standing wow. by. I think that's all we get. Wait a minute, we, we won. Man, we won. We're yeah. the big winners <laughs> there. Come What's on, too bad. John, Allison. Take they were the biggest winners of the night, and you were cutting them short. Miss. He cuts to John and Allison, who present the award for best video from a film. The winner is Coolio for Gangsters Paradise. We then finally get an interview with Buster Rhymes, who has a parking situation. Yeah, I got my car outside right now, legally parked. So you know, we trying to run out there and get it cracking. Uh oh. Okay. Well, we will be speedy. And that is the end of the 1996 VMAs. That was a lot. Also, a quick reminder that I have a Patreon where I'm releasing exclusive content, including a video on the 2009 VMA pre-show. It really was a hot mess. Lady Gaga and Kermit the Frog, Shakira and Pink wearing the exact same dress, Beyonce's bodyguard. Oh yeah, it was a mess. Uh oh, excuse me. Yo, Julius, excuse me. Sorry, fella. Link is in the bio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below telling me which award show I should cover next. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And heck, why not share with your friends? And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.